Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the vlog. Um, today is Sunday, the 13th of September, and today we are racing. Yes, so this weekend I've been racing at Brisbane Short Course. Uh, yesterday I had the 200 free, and today I've got the 50 free and 100 free. Anyways, I've just woken up, got the 50 free in a few hours, and I thought I would just run you through my morning routine and daily routine of when I race. So on the days where I got to race in the morning, I usually try and wake up about three hours before my swim. That way it just gives me a bit of time for my body to warm up and be awake. If I sleep in too much and get up and go straight to the pool, I'm just too tired and not ready to go when I got to race. So yeah, I got up at about seven o'clock this morning, which is about four hours before I got to race. So feeling good. Now I'm just about to cook some eggs for brekkie. Um, when I race, I usually try not to eat too much food. I usually try to keep it nice and light so I'm not too heavy in the water. So this morning I'm just going to be having a couple of eggs, a couple of bits of bread and some peanut butter. And uh, yeah, I should be good to go. Anyways, while that's cooking, I might as well get my bag packed. So morning before I race, obviously pack my bag. I'll always take a towel and I'll usually chuck a second towel in just to dry myself between getting, like warm up and getting my suit on. Um, I'll always take a race suit with a spare one in my bag as well, in case the worst happens. Got caps, race caps and goggles. Got a spare one as well, in case once again, rips or something. And then yeah, I've got all my DTs and caps and goggles for warm up. So that's everything I usually take to the pool, as well as uh, a jacket that I'll put on. Um, after I suit up and go see coach and just while I'm waiting in marshalling just to keep myself warm. But uh, yeah, that's what I usually take out to the pool. Mwah. Well, brekkie's been had, bag is packed and I'm on my way to the pool. All right, so just parked at the pool, um, about to walk in. Um, I'm here at 9.30, which is an hour and a half before I race, which is the same amount of time I get to the pool before any race. Um, that's because first half an hour, I'll usually just, you know, walk in, roll, activate, get ready. And then an hour before my race, I'll usually jump in the water for a warm up. Um, so yeah, usually with my activation, usually have a bit of a roll, bit of a trigger, just loosen the body up. Then I'll do some activation exercises, just getting my abs and everything connected and ready to get in the water. A few arm swings and whatnot. And then jump in the water. My warm up's usually about a K or so long, not too long, but just enough to have my stroke feeling good in the water, feeling the water and getting the heart rate up with some paces and whatnot. And yeah, then I go suit up. So here is that. rubbish I got smoked as you probably saw not the happiest not the quickest but I had my moment no I need to work on time to forget about it and look forward to 100 free to Savo well just got home neighbors are doing the lawn if that's what you can hear but um yeah gonna unpack my stuff 
have a bite to eat, get my uh, energy back, have a little sleep, and I'll be ready to head back out to the pool in about two hours. All right, so it's just hit, what's the time? 20 past, almost 2.30. Hour and a half before I race the 100 free, thanks to my Uber driver, Taylor. So there you have it. That's a pretty standard day uh, for what we do at a meet. Um, so yeah, just had the 100 free. That was all right. Warmed down afterwards, got in the car, came home, unpacked all my stuff, and here I am now. Um, overall, the weekend was solid. You know, times weren't necessarily where I wanted them to be. Um, obviously, I always want to swim fast but we've been putting in a lot of work at the moment and I'm just not fresh. So the one bit of confidence that I have is all the weeks of competition we've had so far, I've been very consistent in executing my race plans, my stroke rates, stroke counts, dives and stroke itself has been really, really good. Um, and I've just been perfectly executing that every time. So I know that when I have a taper and a rest, my body will be ready to go fast. So not too concerned and just happy that my stroke's actually coming together really, really well. Um, full credit to all the other boys in the 50 and the 100 free. They've been swimming phenomenally lately and, you know, it's been some great racing. So keen to uh, go up against them all in a couple of weeks at a state short course. But um, yeah, I think there's a little lesson in there, you know, obviously I had my 53 in the morning, which I could have let that get me down and affect my 103 in the afternoon, but I had my moment, was pissed off for five minutes or whatever, took away what went wrong, what went well, and used that uh, in the 100. And now I've just got to do the same with that and look forward to the next competition. There's no point getting caught up and getting yourself down because once the race is done, can't change the result, you can only look forward to the future and use any mistakes that have happened to get a better result in the future. So anyways, I hope you've enjoyed the video this week and um, yeah, I'll see you next week.